Today we're talking about data validation in Excel. The data validation uh, may sound complicated, but really it's just a way of letting you set up rules for each cell in a spreadsheet to try to make sure you get valid or good input on each of those cells. So for example, um, just got Excel as a sales receipt template pulled up here. And let's say we want to make sure that people can only enter a date in the date field. Right now, you could enter anything you want in there. But if we select that cell, go up to the data tab and click the data validation button, then we get this dialog box right here. So at allow, we want to set it to date. Now you've got several choices here of between, not between, um, equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. So you could say something like, um, you know, it has to, that the date has to be greater than January 1st, 2016. Um, or if you just want to make sure it was, you know, any any date, um, you could say something like not equal to 12, 31, 99, 99. And now if I go back here again and try to enter something that's not a date, I get an error message. If I enter a date, then it works. Let's go back into the data validation again and here on the next tab you can put an input message if you want. Um, that'll show up when they enter the cell. Um, so you could say enter sales receipt date if you want that. And then on the next tab, the error alert, you can put in uh, a message that will pop up if they put in um, incorrect data and you can choose between a you know a stop a warning or information um, so maybe you just want to say must be a valid date now if I put something else in there I get a message like that so yes and then get another chance to go back and put it in. Now, some other things you can do, um, you could restrict the length of the input. Uh, let's say down here in the item number column, let's say that all of our item numbers are exactly 10 digits long. So we can help make sure we get the right things in there by controlling what can be entered. So let's go back to data validation. And we're going to say that um, text length is what we want to test on and it needs to be equal to 10. Now I'm typing a number in there but you could also put a formula in there or you could point to another cell. Oh, we just want to make sure it's always equal to 10. So we're going to click on OK and now if I put anything in there that's not 10 digits long it gives me the error message. I put in 10 digits, then it's happy. So most of these data validation options work the same way. You can see we've got you know whole number, um, decimal, which would be any number that doesn't have to be a whole number, um, list, date, time, text length. All these except list and custom work pretty much the same way. You're just going to choose you know whichever one you want, and it's going to give you those same um, you know comparisons and then you'll have relevant choices down here based on on uh, what you've chosen for example you go to between then you get both a minimum and a maximum you also have an option here for custom in that case you just enter a formula down here and it'll be checked against your formula and let's come over here to the sales rep field the the other item in the validation that we haven't talked about was the list option. So if you want to create your own list that people can choose from, first you have to you have to build that list somewhere else on the spreadsheet. You don't build it in the validation window. So let's let's create a new tab, and we're just going to create a list of sales reps. We'll set up Larry, Mo, and Curly. 
and then we'll go back to our sales rep or to our first page and let me bring this up so you can see the tabs there and now we've got my field selected I'm going to go to data validation and we're going to choose list and I'll come down here to the source field and then you could just type in the location but I'm going to click back onto my spreadsheet we'll choose sheet one select that list and again you could put in you know an input message or an error alert we'll just click OK and now see when we're back at sales rep now we have a drop down list that we can choose from so we can just pick the sales rep off the list so that way you're absolutely sure you're going to get valid input and another advantage of putting it here on another sheet instead of you know off in another column you can just right click on your sheet and hide that and now no one's going to be able to you know easily get to that and uh, you know and change the list so those are the basics of data validation it's really simple to use and um, you know can help keep you keep uh, good input on your spreadsheets